Hello there, Aquarius, and welcome to your Oracle messages. I hope you're doing well. Oh, okay, Aquarius. Let's see. You're full of love. Now share it with another. Hmm. You know what I'm getting is uh, two of cups energy. So some of you guys get ready to, you know, expand your heart with another. Um, a, a real sense of uh, soulmate here. So yeah, for some of you that are seeking love, know that that's going to happen. Uh, you just need to, um, you know, keep doing whatever you're doing because it's working. You are full of love. I really get you also being in the Ace, Ace of Cups. So some of you Aquarius, um, not all of you, because I do feel a lot of you ha have been working on loving yourself, being more sensitive or gentle uh, with yourself. Uh, kind to yourself as much as possible and it's working here some of you you might be encouraged to continue uh, to you know see yourself in the eyes of spirit okay and know that you are full of love that you deserve love that you're worthy of love um, but you're getting ready to share it with another here so I am getting water sign coming through cancer Pisces Scorpio um, Let's see what else you need to know when it comes to your current situation, uh, Aquarius. So let's see here. What else does Aquarius need to know? For Aquarius and Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Meditate, Twin Flame. Oh my goodness, you guys see? two of cups lover's card situation going on here so create some uh, space right now just to give to yourself so i do feel that you guys are getting ready it's just have patience right now meditate while you wait okay play while you wait maybe get creative on um how you can meditate in a way that works for you now some of you you might be encouraged uh or you might be feeling encouraged to you know, uh, maybe do a meditation group, study meditation, maybe just implement it on a consistent basis here uh, because it will do wonders. So, um, yeah, I feel that you guys also, I just see someone, uh, an enlightened being here or someone who is woke, right? And you're ready to bring your love situation to the next level. So, you Aquarius have a twin flame situation going on here. Now we may feel for some of you, because I, I feel some of you guys, you, you may already be with this person, but some of you guys, you're not because some of you, you're really challenged right now. Um, and so you may need to just have, uh, you know, you may need to let uh, time and distance um, for yourself and another uh, to take over so that it can just unfold naturally. But yeah, a lot of you guys are getting ready to share it with another for sure. Let's get a little bit more. Let's get a little bit more here. We got meditate. We got twin flame. You're getting ready to ignite some new passions within yourself here. Okay. What else for Aquarius? I wasn't expecting that actually. Hmm. Sometimes what you seek is as simple as being still and staying focused. Okay, so some of you guys, you might be really having a hard time keeping a peaceful mind. You might have people or a person or just an environment or situation that's causing you to maybe overthink something or um, maybe stressing you out. Okay, some of you guys, it could be the past energy here, but it's kind of funny because... <laughs> Uh, we have this card meditate here, right? Sometimes what you seek is as simple as being still and staying focused. So I'm getting this message that Aquarius, you just need to remain aware. Something about practicing awareness in the present moment so that you can remain responsive to what and who shows up here. Let's see what else you need to know when it comes to your situation, uh, Aquarius. And also, Aquarius, whenever you get to the video and it resonates for your situation, regardless of the date or the time, uh, then it's meant for you. You can also check out past messages as well. Those are all, well, some are timeless, some are not. Okay, let's see. What is going on with this one? Reflection. Oh my gosh. I'm just getting more of this like, you know, four of swords, maybe even four of cups in a sense here. 
Yeah, especially with reflection. See all aspects of yourself through the reflection of one who mirrors your hidden self. This is this twin flame energy here. So a lot of you guys have done uh, the spiritual work, the uh, and you will continue to do spiritual uh, work, but it is worth it here. So yeah, you guys are getting ready to really see your divine self um, and see it in another as well. Some of you guys, this, yeah, this twin flame, okay, they're going to reflect something within you that is going to make you, the thing that I'm getting, because this is why I was getting Ace of Cups, it's, it's because there's going to be this situation with this twin flame where you're awoken to something within yourself that you actually fall in love with in a healthy and divine way. But it's also something that you um, are mirroring something within this person as well, okay? So there could be things at a distance between you and this person. There could be a lot of differences, but there's something that is um, very similar that is very strong, okay? Let's continue and see what else is going on here. Some of you guys are dealing with maybe a, you know... <laughs> A challenging soulmate here so don't give up on those that you love for some of you Aquarius okay you are taking time to reflect um, to evolve to heal and to really strengthen your bond okay and some of you Aquarius you're getting ready because I, I, I sense you are in that four of swords energy so you know, the battles are done. You can surrender. Uh, a lot of you have been doing what you need to do to heal and recover from a disappointment or heartbreak here. And you're ready to um, hit the next level here when it comes to a spiritual soulmate, a real deepening with yourself, um, your life, your life purpose, and with another. Okay, there's strong, uh, very strong loyalty here. What else for um, Aquarius? I see this person that's like in their bubble here too, right? It's like, don't let anything burst your bubble. So stay in your bubble here, meditate. What else for Aquarius? Because I feel for a lot of you Aquarius, you've been doing the right things here, right? I know there's something that's, you know, might be getting to you when it comes to needing some type of peace. What else for Aquarius? Oh, oh my gosh, this is strong. You guys do, you, you, you're you coming into a new commitment with someone here. Okay, this is, this is, this is going to be it for a lot of you guys. Um, mm -hmm. Something is karmically working out in your favor too. Okay, so some of you Aquarius uh, keep moving forward in your life and trust that you have all that you need here. This is a time for some of you guys to just pay attention to what's really going on. I would say you're better off like being in a state of meditation here and reflection than um, doing something that, you know, you could upset some type of balance. But there's something that's opening up here for with some type of like sacred soul contract with another. But also, you know, some of you, there, there's going to be some truth here and, and forgiveness and healing as well, okay, with someone that I feel... Some of you guys, um, you know, have a very strong tie to. I want more too with the justice. We've got Libra energy coming through. Give me more about this justice. I mean, peace is just a thought away. Because it's like there's, there's this key right here and there's a tag that says Pandora. So it's like, no, let's just go ahead and uh, lock that up. Uh, put that key right there. Okay, I'll show you the image. Okay, lock that up. Put that key right there. We're going to sit right on top of this because we're choosing peace. It's a thought away. Let's get more with this justice. For Aquarius. There could be some, oh, I don't know why I'm picking this up. Something about LA. <laughs> oh my God. 
maybe even the name justice for some of you guys but anyhow only take that if it resonates it's not obviously it's not going to resonate <laughs> for a lot of you okay you have the Midas touch right now every project you begin turns to gold see you guys are coming into new opportunities, new doors, new contracts that are favoring you with waves of prosperity. What goes around comes around. Maybe some of you Aquarius, you may even have or be dealing with or could be dealing with either a Gemini in the future or Leo. Okay, so hmm, you may even resonate with Leo's reading possibly. But let's see here. You have... There's something that's happening here with you guys receiving what you need, maybe even more because we do have ways of prosperity that literally you can finally begin those projects or, or whatever you want to put your heart's desire into um, and, you know, really receive some kind of good um, feedback, uh, results, money from it. Okay, so expect the best for yourself when you're choosing the best for yourself, Aquarius, okay? It's all working out in your favor right now, too. Now, we could have something, you know, with legal stuff, you know? So, again, with this ways of prosperity, you need to expect a good outcome here for yourself. What else for, um, oh, set your sights. Okay, this was funny that I had this flipped over. Increase your standards. This is this justice card. What is right for you? Okay, don't settle. <laughs> Don't open that box. <laughs> you need to expect more for yourself. Look, you guys, there's something strong here happening with more money. Um, also, a really good situation here with someone too, okay? So don't settle, especially when it comes to relationships. <laughs> what else? And I'm not saying just because someone, something's not working out that you just give up on them, okay? So you guys are going to have to put this in your own situation. Obviously, if you're involved, you know, you have a very strong tie. And I see you guys at the Four of Swords here where we're distance ourselves, okay? We might not absolutely, we're not talking, okay? Um, but it's really important to for the soul and the mind not to label people uh, and things, right, as this and that, you're experiencing a twin flame divine experience here because you deserve it. So just know that you're coming into very spiritual heightened awareness, but like a deepening of intimacy, like it's just, it's all good. <laughs> okay, uh, what else for Aquarius? It's, it's good, Aquarius. And I always see this card to me as destiny, as um, star card here, which is your card. So some of you, maybe it's just that you need to hear that you're, uh, you're safe to be powerful, um, that you're doing the right thing by not settling, okay? And maybe ignoring some uh, people or, or letting things fall away from your life because <laughs> you deserve better. Okay, what else for Aquarius? That one fell into the ground. Uh, your prayers and questions are being answered by synchronistic events. See, this is like that star energy here. Notice them in order to increase their full, uh, their flow, Aquarius, okay? So I feel that the more that you guys, again, be in a state of, remember I said, see, this is exactly why I was talking to you about, you know, um, practicing awareness as much as possible because i do see a lot of you guys you, you know how to do that okay some of you guys your twin flame may definitely have i mean definitely you're like at the same like level soul wise here but anyhow you're going to remain aware because you're more in the present moment so you can remain uh, responsive here for those synchronistic events signs whatever it is That card fell down. So we got truth. Woo, and we even have justice here. There is truth here. See your light. Know your power. See, I was talking to you about, you know, it's safe for you to be power, powerful and have the courage to walk your truth. You guys are going to be taken care of. In fact, walking your truth is walking in your authenticity here um, and knowing that you are doing something and, and creating a beautiful future for yourself Okay, I want to grab that one card that fell, so I'm going to have to get under my table here. All right, this is uh, set your sights higher. 
All right, let's see. What else for Aquarius? You guys are, may need to practice affirmations or do it again, okay? And create new ones because sometimes what happens when you start doing affirmations is you start to, <laughs> it starts to become like, you know, you become numb to it because you get so used to it. But anyhow, say positive affirmations each morning or at least start your morning differently with gratitude, right? Because some of you guys are waking up and your mind might be racing here. Maybe because we have felt such some type of injustice here and we just want to know the truth. Well, I see you guys getting the truth here, right? Your ans your prayers um, and questions are being answered by synchronistic events. So you're going to help it, uh, Aquarius, by implementing meditation, doing morning affirmations, evening affirmations, whenever you can, whenever you can. What else for Aquarius? Vision, trust in your ability to create the vision in your soul. See, setting your sights higher, knowing you deserve the best, allowing new abundance and exciting opportunities to wash over you. There's a card that wants to come out. I'm getting like moon card with this too. So Pisces energy is coming through. Let's get a little bit more with this vision because there's a card that wants to come out with it. Oh, be okay you guys i was just talking about um wow i was just talking about moon card here so i do feel some of you guys um are being shown something here when it comes to uh not engaging with things or people here that could be or cause some type of chaos here because we do have this thing about be on your guard against chaos as unforeseen perils or emotional upheaval are foretold. Okay, I'm going to get another card for that. Because the other thing that I'm getting is, is kind of like the situation where you've got someone, for some of you guys, something and someone new entering that it's going to cause you, you know, having to rebalance your life again. Because anytime you have something new that is significant, it will uh, take you out of your normal uh, situation, right? And maybe for some, it's like you're just still trying to get to a place of being normal. Uh, okay, I'm going to get another one for difficult times here, but there's something about you guys not focusing on the surface of things. There's something about you really holding and maintaining vision and knowing you guys have power because this is why you are being answered by the universe because you do have this ability, you do have this power. I feel that, you know, this, okay, this thing about this moon card too, I just feel a lot of you... Aquarius, you know when someone is being deceptive here. So honor your own truth, okay? What else for, uh, okay, no. I want a little bit more with this difficult times for Aquarius. Blue star, follow the, <laughs> hmm. Here's, here, here you are reaching for that star too. So, Blue star, follow the light of your inner compass. Here you are, okay, taking matters in your own hand, knowing your own truth, okay? Not putting yourself out of alignment or out of integrity. Follow the light of your inner compass, the blue star. It will lead you to the truth that resides within your soul, okay? So some of you guys, you're going to know, you will just pick up instantly what to avoid here. But if something becomes uh, challenging or difficult, know that all you have to do is listen to that in your inner compass of what feels right to you and honor that truth here. What else for Aquarius? You need to drink more water, Aquarius, and balance career and home life. Look, we got this justice card, which is a card of balance, okay? So... We're maintaining um, health, you know, Aquarius. Um, I was talking to you about star card, which usually depicts a, you know, feminine energy that's um, in water, right? And, and we're in a state of renewal, a sense of cleansing, right? Purifying, feeling light in the heart and the soul, 
really um, being in a place where dreams and visions are really being stirred up between you and the universe. And so there's that true alignment that's happening because that's when the universe really sees your soul, hears your soul. So do whatever you guys got to do right now to balance your home life, your career life, your school life, your whatever you got going on, okay? Because some of you might not be career or it could be business, you know, put it, whatever it is, okay? Whatever we've got going on here, there's something about you guys really putting yourself, you know, in a higher position so that you are uh, capable and able to... Take this more time to listen to your body, what your body needs. You can sit pretty on this rock and have new abundance wash over you because you deserve it. Some of you guys don't need to worry too for some of you because I'm picking up nine of pentacles energy, which is a card of independence and also being single, but you're free. <laughs> you're free in a lot of ways, okay? You got, um, you're, you're, really uh bridging heaven on earth for yourself okay so you're in a place of uh, being provided for with the comforts of life seeing your own dreams come to fruition spending some time in um, solitude where you can actually enjoy that peace and enjoy your surroundings enjoy you know maybe your animals or things that you have and accumulated you're taken care of and wow it's just a very nurturing situation for yourself and for um, others too um, and when the time is right because we're taking um, a strong hold with what we know is good and right for our own self man look at this look we come into something here where the, the it's very natural and the natural unfolding here and it just goes to higher states okay what else for um, Aquarius Some of you just need a little time out for yourself. Rest assured, your dreams and visions will come to fruition. See, here you are, resting assured, meditating, having calm confidence here that you guys are really unified, unifying something that is a dream of yours and also a dream of spirit with you. You guys see, you guys see I broke my nail right there. <laughs> I super glued my nail. <gasps> Yes, I do break my nail. But anyhow, it's not about me. I just thought maybe, you know, get your mind off of something. <laughs> uh, let's see. What else for Aquarius? What else for Aquarius? Yeah, speaking of, uh, I was just talking to you about the Nine of Pentacles, which, hello, your dreams and visions will come to fruition. I was just talking about you bridging heaven and earth, right? really fulfilling your dreams oh my goodness your vibration is being raised to higher levels here you are <laughs> here you are with that twin flame and meditate card okay your vibration is being raised to higher levels you are connected to cosmic intelligence yes you are yes you are this is why you guys are really being gifted some type of good energy right now um, and guidance from, you know, spirit guides, the heavens here, cosmic intelligence, inner alchemy. Oh my goodness, this is so funny. Okay, so let's take this one and then we'll take this one because we have this coming out again. <laughs> oh, what's that say? Inner alchemy is achieved when you react to fear with love. Interesting because, you know, I was picking up moon card earlier, which uh, causes, you know, can cause some fears and worries. So how about just, you know, smack it with a little bit of love smack that fear with love punch it <laughs> you, know, you don't have to be aggressive hug it wash it with uh, love and watch yourself really take control of energies here um, and see how powerful you really are and watch what happens to your outer world as you take control of this expand your consciousness by observing the divine matrix of life oh my god because you guys are connected to cosmic intelligence. See, you're, most, you, you're, you're supposed to be like sitting back and being the observer of the magic happening within you and around you here. So here you are being in a state of observation while at the same time raising your vibration 
expand your consci consciousness by observing the divine matrix of life because you can. What else for Aquarius? Hmm. I was picking up four of swords earlier, um, and we have the three of swords, which is, you know, and here's the seven of swords. Wow. You guys, um, maybe there's a connection or a similarity of what happened with Scorpio because it's like, uh, maybe for some of you guys, you really got hurt or felt betrayed here. Maybe there was, you know, I don't know, a sense of rejection here, but it's God's protection because you have something way better. So there's something about you guys getting some type of truth though. I'm serious. There could be like, I don't know how it's going to show up. Let's get more about this. I mean, we got the three of swords and the seven of swords. These are very challenging, challenging cards, but I'm seeing you guys really controlling yourself and allowing truth to be revealed here. Now, some of you guys, you're really being asked to trust in your inner vision right now and your ability to create, create that. Okay. Don't run away from a truth or your own truth. Let's get a little bit more with these two cards, please. We got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming through. I want a little bit more with these two cards. Some of you guys, uh, there's going to be something about a property. Oh, there could have been something going on here with maybe money, property, um, splitting things up. I do see something about maybe separation, divorce, or coming out of old commitments and possibly coming into new commitments. Because some of you guys, you might be you might be being guided here to... Um, you know, maintain your property or be, or maintain your home or become a homeowner in a sense here. But there's something about, okay, there's something about property purchase or a sale for many, but heed con security concerns in any transactions. Ooh, because there may be, you know, the devil could be in the details here, right? So make sure that you guys um, are really at a place of being level-headed, <laughs> okay? Maybe don't... Uh, you know, maybe you need to distance yourself from making any type of decisions, especially if it's, you know, about money or anything like that or property. Um, I'm going to get one more, though. Well, I guess it's just falling out for you. OK, so you and your future is going to hold somebody. <laughs> you may travel or host an overseas traveler soon. Either way, great social fun awaits. So, yeah, you guys are getting out of a hard time and maybe even. A time where you know we've been lied to or we just we just haven't got the whole story or the truth quite yet but you guys are healing from this okay so there's something about a property here you may travel okay so we got something good about your future now we do have another card of reflection oh my god and so there's like three cards about reflection here yeah some of you guys you're ending friendships or relationships see ending commitments, you know, old ones. Okay. So listen to this friendships in your life may come to an end, but others could blossom and become stronger. So don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. Something time will tell you for a lot of you Aquarius, just continue to set your sights higher, put yourself, keep doing this to put yourself right in that beautiful position to receive these, this waves of prosperity here. Uh, what else for Aquarius? The universe has been gently nudging you forward by revealing to you signs and synchronicities. Okay, this is no joke, Aquarius. Oh my God. Oh, it's coming out again in a different deck here. And the universe has been gently nudging you. <laughs> yeah, it's been uncomfortable, but just hold your ship steady here, okay? Your mind, your emotions, your spirit, hold it steady by meditating. You're going in a good direction. So, you know, I don't know what has happened here in the past, but you guys have something that is really going to be worth what you've gone through. What else for Aquarius?
some of you Aquarius just need to, you don't need to do anything but just hold your peace because something's, something's happening here with you guys. Reinvent yourself. A transformation is taking, yes, a transformation is taking place. Enjoy a new lease of life because you guys are ready for a change. This is this justice card here, by the way. Um, time is right for major life changes as a new lifestyle or location for some of you guys brings great joy and most importantly, a trouble-free existence. So you might as well just go ahead and put yourself, uh, you know, in the future of being, you know, uh, calm, right? Because it's trouble-free existence. So might as well just be in that energy now. What else for Aquarius? So Aquarius, don't worry about things changing up. I mean, I was getting the sense of nine of pentacles. So this is telling me you guys are going to be well off here, okay? You will see results. You will get uh, the time, the money, the people, the support, the love life, okay, by the way, that you need here. So don't be afraid to, like, start, you know, going with what you're feeling tuned into right now. I feel some of you guys, you might you know, be buying like a new wardrobe or experimenting with different things and different looks. Um, there's definitely something here about, you know, having some, some type of investments here that are going to be uh, worth it for you and your future. So some of you, yeah, I feel some of you guys, you're being pushed to like um, really claim your independence here in a strong and big way. Um, and not worry because spirit is going to take care of you. You guys are, uh, you know, getting what it is that you have been praying for. So rest assured it's coming to be a free spirit is to float without walls and to fly without judgment and to love without conditions. I was just talking to you more about this, like nine of pentacles energy that I keep picking up over here. Because you are meant to be a free spirit, right? See, when you don't, when you're, when you, when you're in a position where you're living your truth and, and really living your light and doing what you feel is honorable for yourself, everything else starts to line up in your outer world, and it happens on in, in the divine matrix and divine timing. What shows up first is the universe's job. And that's, you know, that's part of you know, uh, learning the balance of alchemy here, learning the balance of uh, creating and co-creating. But you're meant to experience some type of beautiful freedom. Now, I do feel some of you guys need to not be so hard on yourself or others right now. Uh, fly without judgment and love without conditions. Because when you do that, that really puts you guys in the state of receiving here, okay? What else for Aquarius? And I know a lot of you know that already. I'm just reminding some of you. What else for Aquarius? Choice by... Okay, this landed on uh, justice, by the way. So de decisions, choices that honor you, right? By staying conscious in your thoughts... We're talking about awareness, right? And remaining aware so that you can be responsive. By staying conscious in your thoughts, you guide your journey in the direction of choice. Not by circumstances and things, right? Not feeling like you're the ping pong on a ping pong table, right? No, you're the player. And you're good and you're masterful. Just think of it that way. So you're going to hit that ball every single time and enjoy and have, and have fun. So this is about you guys being really in control of your destiny. What else for Aquarius? An excellent time to start an exercise program, something about health here, maybe diet or maybe just getting, um, you know, more you know, healthy foods into your diet, whatever it is, many new friendships are on the horizon. So you're getting this a couple of times, friendships, people, connections. Okay. So don't worry what you're leaving behind for some of you guys. 
A change of residence, partner, career, or job is on the, on the cards. You're restless and need of change. And that's exactly what's coming your way. I'm seeing this being very positive for you. What else for Aquarius? Meditation. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. It landed on meditation too. Take a moment to connect to source through quiet, reflective meditation. Okay, because source will provide for you the energy, the information, the healing, the peace you need. It's like, because some of you guys, I feel that there may be something here which is unplugging from things like technology, social media, you know, things like that. Whether it, it can, if only if you could do it for a half hour, you know, an hour, half a day, a day, whatever. Okay, a month. No. <laughs> Let's see, what else for Aquarius? You're a born entrepreneur. So some of you guys, hmm, don't second guess yourself, leading the way or doing something. Uh, some of you, you need to not worry about your, you know, business here. It's surrounded by magical opportunities. And you are a born entrepreneur, so don't question yourself, okay? Spirit is going to gift you guys uh, new opportunities, magical opportunities that you didn't see coming. So it's like, yeah, rest assured, your dreams and your visions will come to fruition. And then you get to create more. What else? Detach from drama. My goodness. Yeah, see, I feel I was getting this thing about you distancing yourself here from situations and people, right? And standing in your truth, <laughs> letting things be, because we don't need to give in to uh, petty stuff or petty situations or negativity here, okay? Some of you, it could be that you're just watching too much drama maybe on social media. So it's like, that's why I was getting this thing for some of you to just really unplug from that. Okay, connect with source here. Uh, what else for, okay, no, that's it. Hmm. Is there gonna be any others? Nope, that's it. Okay, so that was, that was strong. Hmm. Hang on, there was a strong feeling. So, I mean, it was just like, I don't, it was after I, I put that card down, it was just like some, some of you guys, okay, blue flame. Oh my God. Maybe some of you guys are, you do start, you, okay. Some of you drink more water and pay attention to, you know, your, uh, your sensitivities here because there will be things that will just kind of push you away from things that, um, you know, that your inner compass is saying, uh, navigate away or ignore or just, you know, distance yourself from, okay? Because uh, there's this card coming out, connect to the blue flame, which is the light of pure love within you. So, you know, you're detaching from drama and maybe just for some of you guys, just give that situation love, just be like, you know, strong enough and big enough just to give that situation love and don't judge others. Maybe you have to, for some of you, you may just have to um, forgive others for their shortcomings, right? Anyhow, let's see how spirit is helping you, um, Aquarius. It is kind of funny though. We got that blue flame and we got the twin flame and I don't know, we got alchemy here. So we got that blue and the, the water and the fire, but I don't see any fire, but, uh, Hey, that's okay. <laughs> Because I already told you that you're going to have um, some new passions really ignite. Okay, so how is spirit helping Aquarius? Yeah, you guys are being helped. Heaven is working behind the scenes to help you, even if you don't see the results yet. So chill out, right? Rest assured your dreams and your visions will come to fruition because you're being helped behind the scenes. And that's kind of cute too, because I was getting moon card, which also can be, um, you know, working behind the scenes. Let's get one more for how spirits helping you as well. Again, with noticing repetitious signs and inner guidance, this can yield valuable information. So just, you know, spend some time meditating, contemplating on what you truly desire. Some of you guys, you, you may need to, you know, talk to your angels. Oh my gosh, we got this fertility card right now. So really, 
uh, some of you look at this you have the Midas touch right now and every project you uh, touch turns a gold okay this is a good time and a, a great time actually to give into that so notice repetitious signs in your inner guidance says this can yield yield valuable information so spend some time for some of you meditating upon what you truly desire or to seek that guidance from a higher source and then pay attention okay because you are being given a lot of information right now from different um, outlets so i hope that was helpful love and light take care